All right. Um, I figured let me show this because I'm actually selling it. Uh, someone brought this to me this morning, and um, it's being sold before I even got a chance to photograph everything. I'll photograph. I'll video everything else in a second. All right. Believe it or not, I actually did get something today, which is very, very rare, especially at a street fair. Um, I didn't buy this. Someone brought it to me. Someone I know. He called me from a yard sale and said, "Hey, some people got this Xbox 360, and um, it has three controllers, and it has uh, cables." So I was like, "What do they want for it?" And they said they have 30. I'm like, eh, "You know, because that's that's like break even, right?" Well, he managed to get it for 15, and I wanted to throw him some money, right? He managed to get it for 15, right? And I said, "Fine." When he showed it to me, I said, "Look, I'll give you 25," because it had three controllers. And generally, the controllers felt kind of clean, and I, I felt safe. Right before this, you'll see that I had um, two controllers that I actually sold, and I sold it to them untested, but I let them take a picture of my business card, just in case. Anyway, so for, oh, okay, cool. It looks like I want to get something else. I'll pick this up in a second. So anyway, let me finish up with this. $30 is what they wanted. My friend negotiated down to 15. I gave him 25, and he was happy. Um, Right before this video, you saw two white controllers. I wound up selling those for 18. Hopefully, they work. They won't come back. That, you know, I'm I'm not 100% sure this console is going to be great because of all these weird labels on the back. You know, but it seems to be a four gig hard drive. I mean, 25, whatever. I'm I'm safe. If it works, that'll be great. You know, it has a built-in memory, <clears throat> and I still have a controller. It's a little beat up. Um, but it's not too beat up, and the buttons feel good. Came with these headphones, Daryl. I'm just gonna give you the headphones. I, I, you know, you know, I don't even know if, if people can use them anymore. Okay. Let's get two dollars. Hey, go. All right, I'm back again. I keep getting interrupted, and it's it's just got busy now. And uh, it comes with this. I have to add a power supply. I don't know what this is. I guess this is a. Uh, an AV adapter and then it has uh, whatever okay um, someone right after while well, I was actually filming this they came over and they said oh I brought more games for you right um, this is someone I know they've been telling me about a PS1 I was actually hoping it was a PS2 they were like PS something I don't know so here's what I, I got I just gave them $20 because they're my friends and that's the most I would have paid for this you know if I really want to make money because I'll sell this console for $20 and I'm sure it's working with, with a nonsensical game I'll throw in. Um, and it came with two controllers. The controllers look good, you know. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll keep the controller with me. Uh, it came with this box, and okay, actually the memory card may not be, let me see, there's papers in here. They were like, yeah, it came with this box, it has a memory card, but um, maybe the memory card isn't in here. There's papers in here, so it's like messing me up. No, nah, it's in there. Yeah, and this is an aftermarket memory memory card. That's a mega memory. Uh, I might just give it to you, Daryl, because that's probably more than a megabyte. It says it has 360 blocks of conventional memory. You know, since it's in the box and everything like that, if it's worth like, I don't know, maybe I'll just give you the. Bo I don't know. If it's worth say like 12 or 15, I'll just give it to you because I got memory cards with the PS1. Um, came with this joystick, but I don't know if you can, it's like a baby rattle, there's, there's stuff going on, it. it's like, it's like some kind of rattle s snake or something, um, so I'm considering that garbage, um, there's a plug for it, uh, here's an AV that I'm not going to use, so I'll just give that to you, Daryl, and then it came with this stuff, here's an interactive, uh, soup sampler CD, so I don't want this but it does have Spyro the Dragon actually so I'll give it to you maybe you can sell that and then I don't believe any of these games are worth anything this might be this is Rock'em Sock'em Robots Arena this might be the most valuable of all the games uh, that are in this lot and it's nice and clean so that's good um, maybe I can sell that on eBay I don't know uh, Cool Borders 3 not a valuable game Barbie Detective I doubt that has much value you know let me open it up to make sure there's not anything good in there okay Sometimes it'll be the wrong game, but uh, so far not. And here's it. This is an, uh, an unsellable game. This is probably something I would just include as part of a package. And then uh, Warzone, which I'm sure isn't worth that much. I mean, nice clean cases, whatever. Anyway, that's got to be everything I got today. If I get anything, 
today, else today, it's a miracle. And all the stuff I got was because people just saw it and brought it to me or they told me they're going to bring it to me. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll just do shout outs. Uh, Nas Nostalgic, AJ SAP Zonk, he didn't go anywhere today. Um, video Gamer Daryl, uh, Living the Good Life, Thrift Hunter, Angry Steve. Um, I'll give a shout out to my wife Marie because I haven't given her one lately, so I'll just give her one. Uh, I'll give a shout out to Paige, AJ's girlfriend because he always does it and he isn't giving any shout outs, so I'll give one. Um, uh, never more antiques you know everybody else if I don't get you today I'll get you other times uh, watch the rest of the video you'll see what it was like for me to set up today bye AJ I know you love this jacket you can't have it <laughs> this guy has it it's his there you go <laughs> there you go it's his and he's not selling it see how okay see how nice people are to me Marie they gave me stuff yeah, he, he said yeah. he, and it works well. That's like a dollar seventy nine for free. <laughs> but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it in the four dollar three for ten. Well, don't <laughs> the sticker. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm in Hasbro Heights. It's Sunday. I helped with the numbers. I was on the wet side of the street, so I couldn't put the numbers down on the floor. Uh, I'm spot one twenty eight, one thirty. Those, uh, so they gave me two spots, which is good. Makes my setup a lot easier. Uh, it rained a little this morning, but I think it's going to be okay now uh, for the rest of the day, I hope. But it is cool today for June. Um, there's some Porter Sands, and there's more Porter Sands there. There's more Porter Sands further down. I'll show my space in a few minutes, and then I have to... I probably will wind up parking the same place I parked last year, um, which was in the bank, or uh, whatever it was. I'll, I'll show it. I, it'd be nice if I could pack, park in an animal hospital, which I'll show where I would love to park when I get there, but that's not for sure because they don't know if they have permission to park there. I'll ask Ellen and see what she says. Anyway, uh, I'm working my way back to the car and then I'm going to unload. I'm spot 128 and 130. Uh, I'm parking in the Wells Fargo parking lot again, which sucks. See, here's my other spot, 130. Which sucks because I'm right in front of the Animal Health Hospital of Hasbro Heights again. And look at that whole parking lot. But we don't have permission because supposedly they're doing something here. Anyway, I got to unload the car. I'm going to unload on the curb right there. That's the curb. And then I'll set up. Well, I see a bagel place over there there. Maybe I'll get that for lunch and then I have a pizza place here. Maybe I'll get pizza for dinner. Oh, I've got to talk to Marie. <laughs> okay, I mean nothing's going on. People are just starting to set up their tents and I'm just heading back to my car. I'm uh, like I said, I'm in front of the animal hospital and I parked behind Wells Fargo. Uh, you know what, I'm going to show what the parking lot looks like just so I know exactly where. Yeah, where I park, um, if I were lucky and I were on the other side of the street, I could keep my car right behind me. But what happens is they give that spot to other people who just, you know, it's harder for them. They, they need a, to have a car closer, which is fine with me. I don't really mind. Okay, so I'm actually parked back here. There's the Wells Fargo building. And uh, it's not really even a big parking lot. And I was actually surprised at how many vendors were already parked in there. I think they were vendors. I don't think they're locals. But I was surprised how many people were parked. There's the Wells Fargo building. I was surprised how many people were already parked in, in this lot, you know, before I came here. Um, see, it's not even a big parking lot. This is basically what it looks like. And there's me. My car, maybe they can park in the handicap and stuff, but all these regular spots are kind of filled up. And what the vendors, who can, they get to, set, to park their car right behind when they set up, which is easy for them, it helps them out a lot. Um, see, right there, there's like two cars. They got the perfect spots, parking wise. And then these two cars, so they're close. They can walk over to the car anytime they want. I can actually walk over to my car anytime I want because my parking, Actually, my, my flea market's, my street first space is right across the street. 
You can see all my junk on my tables. Look, I'm, I'm going through a drive through Boop, boop. Let's make a withdrawal. Yeah, there I am, right across the street. I guess I'm going to start setting up some of my stuff, putting out their tables. Everybody else is putting out their tent. I don't know if you can see it, but all the way in the distance down there, they already blocked off that street. They haven't blocked off the side streets yet, which they should. You'll get like side street traffic pulling into, uh, uh, you know, just driving down the block. Well, hopefully that won't happen. Anyway, I'm going to put up my tent and just get some tables going and, and, and just get the whole process started. All right, uh, so they did give me a double spot. Of course, there's a light pole in the middle. I like to put my tent up on the sidewalk so we could sit on the sidewalk under the chair under the tent. Uh, here's what I did. One, two, three, four tables. And then a the black table there. And then the front, I don't know. This is what I'm doing for now. Because the tent is in a weird spot, I wanted to put the table tied to the tent. And I mean, I have a dumbbell there, but it gives it extra weight. But, so what I did was, instead of putting it more over there, I have a table here, table here. And these are the smaller folding tables. I'll put the CDs on those. Then I have these three tables. And this, this double thing's a little weird, but I don't know. I'll see if I can get it to work. Anyway, let me start covering tablecloths and then I'll put stuff out. And then I'll, if I need to change anything, I'll change it. See, stupid pole right in the way. Annoying. So my space is actually coming along and they didn't lie. Uh, I thought maybe the animal hospital was not going to actually use that parking lot and you know they were just saying it so I couldn't park there. Uh, one funny thing though somebody was walking by and they said so what are you gonna be adopting out today? And they were like just cats and dogs and I was like as if you had to specify just cats and dogs I mean like what else would it be? Would it be kids <laughs> looking for like a new home, uh, taking them out, let them uh, play around in the sun, see if anybody comes by and, and finds one that they like, maybe throw a little bit of uh, ball around with them in a frisbee. No, I, I, you would think it would be cats and dogs. Uh, other than that, what, like, I don't know, snakes, birds, uh, lizards? No. Nah. I just, I just thought it was like a, one of those things that they didn't have to quantify. Cats and dogs, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, I'm pretty much set up. So now I just gotta wait and see. Uh, it's kinda cloudy today, but it's not supposed to rain. Uh, it's 10 o'clock, so I think it's gonna start soon. It's either gonna start at 10 or it's gonna start at 11. Uh, what I put out, how'd I set up my space? Alright, so you saw what I did with the tables. Oh, and I did, I didn't need that extra black table there, this, this square one. So I put it behind so Marie can use it if she wants. Um, I got my DVDs on the two smaller folding tables. And then I used these three um, tables that didn't fold. And I put records and I just put out a lot of video games. I even got more of the video games from yesterday. I put those out. I got like some Wii's, PS3's, PS2's, Xbox, blah, blah, blah. And they're going to be um, $4 free for 10 Then on the same table I fit some DVDs. Um, and I'm going to make those like $2 free for 5 uh, I put out these cards just for kids, like a dollar or whatever. I'll probably give some to some kids if they're nice. Um, I'm putting these out. And I think I'm going to try and get like 5 bucks for them. Even though they say $2.99. <laughs> Are these $3? I'm going to like, no, they're $5. Um, there's my log. My, um... Burlwood jewelry box. I think soon I gotta get that inside. Daryl, maybe if you wanna list it on eBay, 100, or I'll put it in the showcase. It's gonna take up a lot of room, but whatever. I can't put it on top, I'll have to put it at the bottom. Uh, but, uh, actually, I didn't bring any new consoles, even though I did test the 360, it worked well. I wanna test some more games, so I just, I just wasn't into it. I was like, screw it. Um, so I got an Xbox, I got a GameCube, and I got two Sega Genesis, and I got like a, a Wii, but um, the later Wii, the Wii Mini. That's the one that's right. A lot of people have never seen one of these before. Well, there it is. That's a, a, a Wii Mini. Um, more pricier games I stuck here. There's some of the Wii U games I got yesterday. A lot of the GameCube games I got yesterday were kind of scuffed up. Uh, I didn't even... It was such an amazing deal. I was like, man, I got to grab that and get out of there. So I did. And then I looked at them, and they were all a little, you know. But I'll, I'll test them, and if they need, I'll polish them. Here's my case with some of my better 
uh, games. I didn't bring out. Oh, I did bring out the N64, and I didn't bring out any of the GameCube because, like I said, I just didn't have time to, to test or polish or whatever them today. But here's um, what's left over: the Super Nintendo lot I got, and the uh, Mario lot. I'm sorry, not Mario. The Nintendo 64 lot I got. I think I probably. I mean, I'm not gonna let those sit too long. You know, I can put those on eBay very easily. And that's going to be Marie's Jewelry. I, I gave her a lot of space. I gave her two tables, two of the big tables, and another table there. So we'll see how she sets up. Maybe I'll just film it later and add it together. Well, it finally started picking up. As you can see, there's a bunch of people here. Not everybody's buying, but they're looking, and that's a good sign. Uh, I'm in the triple digits, which is good. 